Color. When we speak about color, you know, there's some people that spend their whole entire lives just studying color. Yes. What was kind of like, what was your thinking, you know, your, your lesson on color kind of uh, about if you had to summarize it? Uh, that's an easy one. Um... There is a hierarchy of getting an image to read naturalistically, and that is you know, drawing, shape, value, and then color. And color, you know, I, I, I guess to make my point, I'll, I'll, I'll just troll and say, color's not important. So, <laughs> or what I should say is color and value and I say this right at the beginning of that lesson, are completely different things. That you can choose, if you have the value and the shape correct, you can use any color you want. Any color. And even within a shape, if the values are correct, you can have 50 different colors, as long as they are all of the same value. So you can have 50 different colors, all of the same value, and that shape will function perfectly and not interfere and the integrity of the, uh, the the image that you're making. So that freedom and and trying to say that uh, oh well we have our our our, our Munsell thing here and this is a split complementary. I I I I have always looked very carefully at different color models and different ways of looking at things, and I always found them much much more limiting. They are models that may be starting to hint at some structure of how color actually works, but I think it's extremely primitive. And for an artist to be using any type of system like that is a gigantic mistake. Color is, to me, intuitive. And the first step toward becoming more expressive of color is realizing that you have complete freedom. There's no such thing as a wrong color. It could possibly be the wrong temperature or if you're trying to do something very specific. Um, but it, it is, um, that is the, the, the key Concur the key message from that lesson is that value and color are separate things. And once you make them separate things, then you are free to use color more expressively.